to go home? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, get to play in front of my family and uh, have a good time. So I'm definitely excited to go back home. Kind of a huge game to go back home and play in front of your family. You, you ready for that? Ready to raise the intensity level from what um, you've had? Yeah, I'm definitely going out there. Definitely a big game for us as far as the season goes. Um, I'm definitely going out there and have a good time and play hard in front of my hometown. I know you haven't played any games here, but the United States feel like a home court to you? Does it feel like that's your court? Um, not really. I mean, growing up, I used to go there. I never really went to too many Bulls games. I always was a Bulls fan, but never like had enough, a lot of money to go to a game or anything. I went to maybe like two or three games my whole life. I always watched them and stuff, but uh, I never got the chance to play there either. Like, like state championships or anything, I never had a chance to go there either. So this would be my first time playing it. Do you feel like this can kind of make up for that? Mm -hmm. I guess, but uh, it, ain't, it ain't really about me. It's about getting this win for Kansas, so I'm good. <laughs> Have you played uh, with or against Jabari Parker, both of you from Chicago? Uh, I played against him one time. I, was, I think I was a junior. He was a freshman. What do you think of him then, and what do you think of him now on Phil? Uh, same thing. He was always a good player, a lot of potential. And, uh, same, same, pretty much the same thing. Would you think you'd be guarding him? He's kind of all over the floor. Is there a possibility you'd be guarding him? So? Uh, with the way they play, it's a, it's a possibility that I'll, I'll be matched up on him a couple times. I may be guarding a, a couple other guys as well, but uh, yes, yeah, possibility. They um, apparently are playing at a faster pace or want to play at a faster pace. Is that uh, how did you guys do getting back on defense in your last game and, and how big a point of emphasis is that? Uh, it's pretty it's pretty big. We definitely have to get back, get to those shooters. Those guys can really score score the ball. And uh, I think we sprint back, um, play hard and uh, sort out to them. It won't be that much of a problem if we play hard. Not afraid to set any off the ball screens or anything now after the other night? I'm definitely going to set up a little bit, take my time a little more, get in a better position. I won't be getting as many uh, legal screens this time. Surprising to see that many in one game? Uh, yeah, I mean, a couple of them I came off, and uh, the guys uh, like coming off of the ball screen didn't wait as long as I thought they would. And then uh, one with Andrew White, I definitely was like trying to hit. I was trying to get them shots, so I tried to go screen for them, you know? So, uh, Try to get him open, but he's already pretty much open. But I just want to do my job, get him a good shot. But uh, I should just let him sh shoot. Is that like something they're watching for, you think, right now? Uh, yeah, with these new rules and everything, they're trying to like get everything. So I guess. Is some of that just taking time of playing with your teammates a little bit more, getting to know where they are, how long it takes them to set up, and all that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, we've been practicing for a while now, and uh, I'm pretty much getting to uh, hang with everybody, hang with everybody's tendencies and everything. So uh, um, it's getting a lot better. It's going to be better next game. As far as the season going on, we'll get better at it too. What does uh, Nadir bring you um, that the younger guys can't that, that you miss maybe? In the uh, he brings that leadership. He's been in a couple big games as well. You know, he knows, he knows what coach wants. He knows what he's doing. He's poised. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to get rattled maybe as much as a young guy would. So definitely bring that leadership. He's a lot more vocal. So he definitely brings that to the table. Knowing him as well as you do, you think he feels bad that he played in a game and wasn't able to help you out? Um, I talked to Nadir about it, and he said he definitely felt like he let us down and everything with uh, him missing our first game and everything. But um, that's all out the window now. We're ready for the season. We're ready. He's here now, and we a lot better that he's here now. So uh, it's all out the window. We got another game, and uh, we're going to focus on this next one. I know you try to treat <coughs> every opponent the same as much as possible, but when you see a, a Duke jersey, I mean, the, are these just kind of bigger? Uh, I think we just treat every team the same way. I mean, who, regardless of who's in front of us, uh, dude, it really doesn't matter. So just going to respect our opponent, regardless who they are. So definitely got to go out there and play hard. Uh, sometimes players uh, face distractions when they go to the hometown to play. Like people are calling up for tickets. And, I mean, this is an impossible ticket to get and everything. Uh, has Coach gone over with you how to keep it from being uh, Definitely. Uh, a lot of people have been coming to me asking for favors and everything. And uh, I definitely sat down and talked to my coach. And he said, uh, this is not about that. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, like, eliminate all distractions, focus on the game. And uh, that's about it. He said, he said eliminate distract distractions and let everything happen. So that's what I'm going to do. So maybe you won't see any friends until after the game, maybe? Or um, I don't know. I'm not really worried about my friends. I'm worried about like uh, scouting report. We got another practice. 
Um, I see him when I see him, so I've been seeing him all my life, 21 years. So another day won't kill me to see him. A couple hours. All right, thanks, Jamari.